Good morning. Yesterday was great. I went mushroom hunting. Got all kind of mushrooms, including those hawk wings or hawk tails, whatever I call them. It does look like a. Let me show you the better example. This one. Yeah. See, kind of like a hawk wings. Yeah. So um, let me show you a little quick how to how do I clean them and what I do to cook them. Okay. So. The hawk wings, um, the, what I like about them, they are really sturdy mushrooms. I just use uh, the toothbrush or uh, you can get any other brush. You just wipe off of the dirt and uh, sometimes you'll see, <clears throat> you'll see a little bugs here, you wipe them off as well. And then I kind of clean up the stem. Okay. So at this point, it's it's clean. It's ready to be uh, stored. You can um, put them in a Ziploc bag. Put them in the freezer. And let it sit there. Uh, make sure you, it's a little bit dry. You don't want it to have much water on it, because if you put it with water in the freezer, it's going to destroy the mushroom. So just let it um, dry. If you use any um, um, wet towels to clean it from the dirt, yeah, just just let it sit out, uh, air dry a little bit, and you can put it in Ziploc bag and put it in the freezer. It'll be good there for a year, um, maybe more, maybe less. <laughs> But if you actually want to cook them right away, then um, you have to peel this top off. And let me show you. So I'm going to use this one to cook it. And that's why I'm going to peel this top off, just like this. You start from the edges. And you go towards the center. Okay. There's nothing else you do to the bottom. Like that's it. It's ready to be cooked. Okay. So decide how many mushrooms you want to cook, and that's all you do. Uh, with the mushrooms, the bigger not not always means better, because um, when small ones you have a higher chance that it's still fresh and free of bugs. But I got lucky yesterday, and this one is probably the biggest. Uh, see. <laughs> the one I found and it is like pretty clean like firm and yeah I'm gonna go for a breakfast now to cook uh, first thing I always do with those mushrooms and as many other mushrooms is uh, um, you boil it for 15 minutes and then you dump that water and after that you use the mushrooms to cook that will um, kind of destroy any thing that can be uh, not good for you like toxins and stuff a lot of people have been doing that so I'm doing that too just to be safe and yeah. Just want to stop for a second and show you how beautiful it is and how meaty it is. I love those mushrooms. Like you can see, it just like it's sliced like I don't know. <laughs> oh, it's so cool. From this, we went into this. So now the mushrooms are ready, <clears throat> I'm going to get the water and put it in the water to boil for 10-15 um, minutes. After that I'm going to dump that water and the way I cut it, it's, uh, it's really good for, uh, for frying. 
if I would be making um, soup, I would probably cut it in more uh, smaller cube cubes. Okay. Whatever mushrooms you're not cooking right now, and you want to freeze them, just put them in a Ziploc bag and put them in the freezer. After 15 minutes, mushrooms been boiling, so now it's safe to cook. I was not sure how to cook them today. So I'm just gonna fry it with some potatoes and onions. All right, let's dump the water. Ooh, smells good. Smells mushrooms. Okay, let's get some frying pan ready. Put some oil. All right. Get your mushrooms. Spread it nice and even, and a medium, and start cooking. Alright, one side we got potatoes, next to it we got mushrooms, and when it starts getting ready, we're going to mix it together. You can add some onions to your mushrooms. Salt and pepper. The potato is almost ready. It's golden brown. You don't want to burn it. Just wait on the mushrooms. The mushroom is almost ready. I'm just going to mix it with potatoes. Okay, here goes our potato. Put it into mushrooms. Together. I like to put some sour cream to my mushrooms. So here you have it. Hog tail or hog wings mushrooms with uh, fried potato and sour cream. Just add some spice to make it nice. That <laughs> video was not uh, nearly as good as as professional as my previous one because I just got up and uh, you have to cook mushrooms soon after you get them because they're gonna go bad that's why I decided to share it my experience with you um, I like those those ones they are the texture is like really firm it's like you gotta try it. There's nothing like mushrooms, but mushrooms. Anyway, make sure, stay safe. I'm not responsible for what you do or don't do after watching this video. Always clean your food and identify your mushrooms. Um, this video for entertaining purposes only. It's not recommendation for anything. So yeah, bon appetit. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's good.